What's up guys, Axis here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create landscapes inside the Cinema 4D using height maps. Um, and this can basically make your scene look a lot more interesting than just using the standard landscape inside Cinema 4D, which is pretty linear and boring. It's a good starting point, but there's really not much else you can do with it. The standard shape you've got here is basically what you'll end up with all the time. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how to just use materials um, which is a lot uh, better on the CPU. Um, I'm also doing one on Octane in the top right, I'm going to check that out, card limitation, if you have uh, Octane. But this is just going to be on Cinema 4D. So uh, all we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a plane. Just create it whatever size you want. And then I'm going to create a material down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check on uh, displacement. And now what we're going to do is we're going to load in uh, a height map. Now basically for height maps, the higher res, the better. So uh, I'm going to bring in one of 24k height maps for my landscape pack, which is more than half price off now. Um, first link in the description if you want to go and check out some high quality um, height maps. But yeah, I've got a bunch of different ones here. I'm just going to bring in... I'm going to bring in one that has a, a different texture as well. I've also got the OBG in here as well if you, if you want to use a, a kind of physical representation of it. But this is the height map. This is basically what it will look like. As you can see, 4000 by 4000. 4K. Um, well, more than 4K. But, um, and then if you want to bring in a texture, you just go here, click on the texture, and then bring in the texture for the landscape. It should match up, as you can see. Um, if you were to do like cubic, it wouldn't match up, it would tile. But keep it on UV and it'll work. And then the last thing we need to do is height, because height uh, is going to change how high up the landscape will go. Um, and then I'm going to do sub poly displacement as well, which is really important. I'm going to put it on 5. Then if we render that out, you can see we've got the landscape and it looks, you can see the depth in the render. For example, if I was to just render it in the picture viewer, you can see a lot of depth there, which is just really cool. Um, so I thought I would share this with you guys if you want to go and check out the pack, first link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.